Every year, John Mock comes out to Memorial Park, putting down one flag at a time. What goes through my mind is all of the innocent souls that lost their lives in a senseless act of terrorism. And what little we can do to keep them in our thoughts and prayers is, is minuscule compared to what the families have gone through. When it's all done, 3,100 plus flags will be displayed at Memorial Park, each of them with a name and where they were when their lives were cut short. You look at the names on the, on the flags, uh, where they, their name and where they were from, uh, it, it really makes, makes it more sobering because you really feel an attachment to that individual. This year is a bit different. While the Rotary Club has helped out every year, they're now running it. Len Castriano, whose brother Leonard died in the North Tower almost 18 years ago, has run it for the last 14 years. She passed the torch so the tradition can live on for decades. This is all history. So what a wonderful way to have 9-11 be remembered, not through the planes hitting the towers or the planes crashing into the ground, but to remember that there were lives lost and having a visible way of being able to have that through flags. All the flags will be laid down by tomorrow. One of the last steps is hammering in the flags with Nebraska Connections. That's when Lynn will put in the one for her brother. God, it's sadness. I mean, what, why should I have to put his name on, on one of these flags? Uh, you know, it, that sadness never goes away. In Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now.